I'm trying to see exactly how far. I hired these fucking retards that ended up, or no, I went, I made a mistake. I went on Home Advisor hours. and was like, all right, I just want to get a couple people that'll come and mow my lawn this weekend. This was a couple weeks ago. And they came out, they mowed my lawn like two Sundays ago and left an enormous amount of just clippings all over my front and backyard, just grass clippings. And by the time I like noticed that they were gone. And so I like texted the guy when he was setting up the next time. And I'm like, Hey, yeah, uh, I, I paid for you to pick up the clippings also. And there's a bunch of dead grass in my backyard and it's very unsightly. And there's a bunch of my front yard too. So next time bring the equipment to take care of that. They use the word unsightly with a landscaper. I didn't, I didn't say that. <laughs> I, I okay. Say just checking it. <laughs> it's just unsightly. No, I, I said, hey, picked up well, okay, faggot, I'll get it. I'll get right to it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it like that. And then he came out again today. And these guys are, they're both morbidly obese. Hmm. A full mouth of teeth between them. Hmm. And one of the guys had a hard rock, the biggest hard rock cafe shirt I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Tucked into the biggest camo pajama pants I've ever seen. In my life. <laughs> and he's walking around my yard mowing. I'm taking care of stuff in here. I'm not I'm really just trying to make sure the noise doesn't bother me with on a call. And I go out again and piles, piles of grass in my front yard. Enormous piles. And I like walked over to one of the guys and I was like, he was standing by the truck out front while the other dude was on the side of the house, finished some stuff up. And I was like, Hey, you guys are going to go back over this and collect all this grass, right? Like this is, I, I paid for this to be taken care of. And he goes, <laughs> that's him brother. And I was like, this is as far as this conversation is going to go. Uh, <laughs> just saying, I'm just his help. That's what he said. I'm his helper. That's him brother. And so I wait for him to come around a somehow even fatter man. <laughs> <laughs> and I can go over to him and I was like, hey, remember uh, last time I said I, I wanted the grass clipping picked up because I paid for that. And he was like, ah, well, you know, when do you want me to come back and do that? And I was like, now, preferably. <laughs> you know, service now. And he was like, can't now, can't now. I don't have any of the bagging equipment. And where, where am I even, where would I put it? Now I... I <laughs> And I was like, I was do you want me to find a place? <laughs> I was exasperated at this point. <laughs> I was just like, it was blowing my mind that I've paid for this service twice now. You prepaid. Ex ex prepaid because I went through <laughs> a home advisor. Amateur homeowner. Yeah, home, home advisor apparently. I, I canceled that already. These people are not coming back. I'm going to do it myself tomorrow because it'll be faster for me. And like the amount of indignation this fat fuck had when it was like, I, and I did it very politely. Like I oh, paid bet. for this. Like I, we had this discussion. Do you remember two weeks ago when you came here and we, we talked about this? Like, I don't want someone to mow my grass. And then three days later, look like my entire grass is dead because there's a big pile of dead grass on it. And he was like, how about we come out? Uh, how about we come out on uh, uh Friday, next Friday. And, uh, and we'll mow again and collect it all that time. And I was like, <laughs> no. No, th this is this is it. This is it. If you can't collect it now, thank you for mowing, but that's that's all. I'm no longer interested. And like the worst businessman in America, he's like, "All right," and just <laughs> left. And so now I've got a chore that these fat fucking retards in their pajama pants couldn't take care of. Got spilled water on my keyboard right there. God, they're responsible it. for that. <laughs> they're responsible for. They're responsible for this. They're responsible for that. I should probably dry that up. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> that. Uh, that that really that really got my goat today. I was like sitting in here anticipating seeing a perfectly manicured lawn, and they gave me an errand. It would have been fucking easier for me to just do it myself. So fuck these people. I'm I'm going straight to hopefully a neighborhood kid. Avoid yeah, that's, prepaying I, I, whenever you can. And if they do 95% of the job and ask for payment, never, ever pay. This might sound obvious to you. I don't mean to, but no, no. it wasn't obvious to me my whole life. There have been a handful of times when people get 95% down and explain, Woody, look, we're almost finished everything. And it's like, right, 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 right. But there's like 600 rocks. You guys were going to stack it on a pallet. Right. We'll come back and do that next week. Ha <laughs> ha. 
that's when you get paid. You don't get paid until everything is done done because I know that you will you won't come back. You're done. Yeah. yeah. I, so that's what uh, I, I do have to grab a paper towel. Real I, quick. <laughs> I, I, I grew up paying people like that, or, you know, or having my dad pay people like that, you know, people that you can't trust to do their job and, and, and people who, who are just trying to earn enough money to buy a bottle of liquor sometimes. So mm-hmm. like they're not, once they've gotten to $8, they're ready to cash their ships out. And it's like, we, we came here to work. You can't work an hour and what did you say? 18 minutes. What kind of junky math are you doing over there to figure mm-hmm. out that that's $8 and 14 cents? Uh, I found I got to cut my grass by just, just I just saw one of those trucks with the trailer on the back and his number on a placard, and I looked at his gear, and it looked, it's like, oh yeah, he's got a mower with a mulcher, and he's got all the weed eaters, and you know he's white, of course, hmm. and, uh, and and so I called that guy and, and had him come over, and it's, it's cheap as fuck, it's it's nothing. Yeah, I, I pay I'm, him for the PayPal, like, we... like he comes every week, uh, same day, and then he like bills me through PayPal, and I click one button, and we're all sorted. When we did this house, right, we had it renovated before we moved in, and uh, it was expensive. People remember the whole story with Jamal and everything, but the lead contractor was like, Woody, look, can you pay us now? We're almost done. All we have to do is, like, align a door, put on a few light switch covers, and clean the place, which was a big task, right? Imagine two and a half months of drywall work, right? Like, cleaning is a serious task, and, uh, and, you know, it's it's like $40,000 for some light switches and cleaning. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you sound motivated. That's how I like it. And uh, our relationship had really deteriorated at this point. And I'm like, you know, when you're done everything, when every item on the punch list is it, I got your money sitting in a bank account, right? There's no inability to pay here. There's an unwillingness to pay until you're yeah. all the way done. And that's Probably going to give him 20, though, right? Just so he could handle his bills. Zero. Zero. He got fucking zero. Like... Look, if you have a day and a half worth of work and you're owed whatever it was, 40 grand or something, that's it. There actually was another six grand I held out because uh, the one of the, Jamal, actually, the subcontractor, not Jamal, hadn't been paid. Now, Jamal didn't do the work, so Ed docked him the pay. Ed didn't pay Jamal for the work that he did do, he just paid him for what he thought he uh, should have got. And uh, I'm over here, he put a lien against my house. Meaning that, like, if I were to ever sell it or something, that money would go to Jamal. So I took the, it was six grand. I took the six grand, put it in an equity account, and we went to court. And, uh, you know, they agreed that, you know, Ed was going to pay, and then there was going to be a judgment against me to make this payment. And they're like, does everyone agree? And I'm like, no, no, I'm, I don't agree. I'm like, this guy doesn't pay his bills. This guy doesn't do his work. And somehow there's going to be a thing on my credit record saying the judge had to order me to pay. I'm the only guy here who does what he says he's going to do. I put the money in an equity account. And the judge was like, yeah, he sounds right, actually. He's the only guy here who fulfilled his obligation. So uh, uh, we agreed to settle it all out of court. So there was no ding on my credit record, which that's yeah. how it went. But anyway, yeah, uh, don't pay. Yeah, you, don't, you don't pay before the work's done. done. You don't pay it all the way done. All the way. It, you know. Like like in, in Taylor's situation, like it's everything went on, but whatever, like fifteen minutes of picking up grass clippings. Yeah. Well, if you want your money, you'll just work fifteen more minutes, I guess. Otherwise, uh, they won't do it. I was you're I told Woody while you're gone, Taylor. I just fa- you're muted, by the way. I I just found one of those you know trucks and trailers at a gas station that's got the sign like, you know, Miller's mowing or whatever the fuck, mm. and I got one of those guys. 